Hello, you guys. This is Joe. Happy Monday, everyone. I hope everyone is well and getting ready for Christmas and all the holiday season. So um, today we're going to be talking about your nerves. And if you sometimes have such big nerves before, before auditions that you're unable to really show up, like they get the best of you, they take you over, like you're preparing at home for your audition and you feel ready, you feel clear about your choice, you feel like you're really flowing with the lines and you're committed and you feel open and excited about the character and then you start taping or you're on set or you're in an audition Zoom room or something like that and you feel like your heart is beating, your hands are sweating, your jaw is getting stuck and you feel sweat all over and you're really feeling that the, all the power, all the clarity, all the, you know, the good juju that you had right before when you were rehearsing is really not there anymore because your nerves are taking over, you're shaking a little bit, your heart is, um, you know, beating way faster than you would want it to be and your nervous system is really taking over and hijacking um, your entire system, your entire instrument and you're unable to be as great as you know that you can, you're unable to um, follow through with your choice, you're unable to think about your character to defend their needs, you're stuck looping with trying to calm your nerves down. It's it's a mess, basically. It's, it's really a mess. A mess. So um, it's frustrating because you're an actor and you really love acting and you may uh, or may not have a lot of auditions but you put a lot of work into them and so when you hear action you don't want your whole system your whole instrument to start shaking you really want to be ready and show up as great as you know that you can and so it's really really frustrating and can be kind of annoying because you can also bring that frustration and that fear in the next one even if there was no reason to have any nerves so it's kind of a downward spiraling thing. No, I missed a word in there, but um, yeah. Uh, Megan's also saying when the nerves are there, all your creativity has gone, right? So yeah, there's no pleasure when you're in fear, when you're in survival mode, there's really no pleasure. There's only survival. It's a fight or flight response and you're you're unable to enjoy it you're unable to be creative you're unable to be instinctive you're unable to be in the moment you're unable to be present you're unable to defend your character's needs it's just it all goes to shit basically so um you really want to um like get into that topic and look at it closely because if it hijacks your system and your opportunities it's not working right so you may have tried already to do a lot more classes you may have thought well there's something wrong with me and i need to do more classes and the reason i'm nervous is because i'm not trained enough and i need to train more i need to do more i need to do a class with this person and then i need to do a camera class and then i need to do an audition class and then i need to do a tape class and then i need to do a this kind of class 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 it's endless you're probably receiving you know 10 emails a day about new classes um and um, you may have taken a lot of those. You may have taken a lot of time to do those. You may have used a lot of your budget to do those. And yet when you have another big opportunity, whether it's a, a tape again, an audition in person, a management meeting, or you have a great role on set, if the nerves are still there hijacking your entire system, it's really, really an issue, right? And I see some people are um, confirming that this is happening. And sometimes maybe this is happening to you all the time or maybe this is happening to you only when you have things that are really important to you like bigger opportunities i hear a lot of actors complain about this problem when they have juicier opportunities a bigger role or a bigger show or a name actor to work with or a name director to work with the bigger the opportunity the bigger your nerves will go will be and i also want to reassure you we work in our community with a big, big range of actors going from beginners to people who are working all the time and who have been working for decades extremely professionally and who have lead roles and it doesn't change a thing. You can be working all the way up there and have nerves that are eating you alive. I've heard very professional, very successful known actors tell me 
it's excruciating for me to act no matter how many times I've done it, no matter how successful I am. I've tried all the classes, I've tried all the name coaches, I've tried all the big teachers. It's excruciating for me to act. I'm lucky, I'm booking, I'm working, and I'm in pain all the time. And that's why they come to us and they start doing this work because the reason for you having nerves is not because there's something out there that you didn't learn that other people have. It's not that you missed the one important class that will teach you the trick on how to calm down your nerves. It's not about calming down your nerves. It's not about controlling your nerves. It's not even about managing them. It really is about having to look into what is happening inside of your instrument on a much deeper level. What you're experimenting is the surface level of what's happening inside. Underneath all the layers, stuff is happening and then what you're experimenting is the nerves that are happening on the moment. But the nerves are not really the issue, they're more like a consequence of what is happening inside, right? So the work to be done is not to focus on the nerve, it, it is on the nerves, it's not to try and fix it, it's not wrong, it's not to try and calm it down because the nerves are nervous because they're nervous. So if you calm them down, what's underneath it will get even bigger. The nerves are trying to move some energy through that has been stuck for a long time, right? So the work to do is for you to take a shovel and dig, dig underneath the nerves. What is happening underneath? And it's gonna be very different for everyone, but mostly what is happening is that you have been conditioned, educated, programmed, indoctrinated and wired to behave a certain way. So everything about you is trying to do what you're told, do it right, please be liked, be loved, be validated, stay safe, because you've been trained, conditioned, educated to actually not be in your body, but to disconnect from your body and connect with other bodies the ones that are taking care of you, your parents, your teachers, your, you know, your, the school system, and to actually tune into their bodies, try and figure out what they want, and then deliver that so that you'll be safe, loved, accepted, validated, and that you'll belong, right? So you're trained to do that all the time since you were born. You were told not to cry. You were told not to get angry. You were told not to even be too loud, not to be afraid. So you, every time you had an emotion, your parents told you, no, don't, you're fine, stop doing that, right? If you're sad, they'll tell you to stop crying. If you're angry, they'll tell you to stop being angry, that it's wrong and it's bad, right? So you're told to think, you're told to feel, you're told to behave like others or like you're told. You're never encouraged to feel what you feel. So when you're feeling nerves in an audition or when you have a big opportunity, what's happening, is your system is so used to getting nervous whenever it feels something because it knows like you're, you'll feel one thing and then you're educated and trained to go, oh, there's a feeling, let's modify it, let's, let's make it work for everyone else. And then you're an actor and you actually know that the only way for you to be fulfilled and for you to impact the audience is for you to be you. And so you feel that thing that you're so used to then castrating, repressing and changing and fixing and making it go so that it works for everybody else. You're feeling that thing come and you know as an artist in any art and especially in acting, the only thing to do to make art is to honor what is, what's there, what's true for you, to freely express what's true for you. But your whole entire system has been trained with fear and consequences and punishment and humiliation and shame to never do that, to never honor what's coming out from you. So you're acting and you're feeling some truth and part of you really wants to honor it. And then there's your entire decades of conditioning that comes in and goes, what the fuck do you think you're doing? You got to please, you got to do what you're told. You got to be a good boy or a good, good, good girl. You got to do it right. You got to do it better than others. You got to do it so they love you. You got to do it so they like you. You got to do it so they book you. So all of that noise, all of that focus is taking you so far away 
from, from what you're really fe feeling, Claude. I have a friend who joins every single time and he makes jokes. His name is Claude Candiotti. I suggest you follow him. And therefore, um, where was I? Yeah, you're, you're just unable to honor whatever is coming up, right? And it makes you very nervous because you're stuck into in between those two things of knowing as an artist that you have to, there's nothing else to do but to honor what you have going on. And then you're coming up against your entire conditioning for decades that says, what the fuck? No way. It's dangerous. We'll get punished. We'll get kicked out. We'll get judged. We'll get humiliated. We'll be ashamed. It's going to be embarrassing if I'm myself. All of the stuff. Like they're not going to book us. They're going to call my agent and say I was bad. Like every, it just every cascade of shame events is coming into, into your field at that moment. So it's what's happening in those nerves again is not the core of the problem. It's not the nerves. The nerves is just the expression of the problem. So what there is to do for you is to actually dig in, go inside of your instrument and look at what's going on in your specific situation, which will be the result of you wanting to honor your truth freely in that moment as an artist and then coming up against decades of conditioning that are telling you, don't you dare listen to your impulses. Don't you dare do what you want to do. Don't you dare feel your truth because what you have to do is be a good person, be liked, be right, be better, be good. And that in no way has anything to do with art. Being liked, being loved, being validated, being good, booking has nothing to do with art. That has to do with nothing except conditioning, actually. It has no, it's completely unrelated to any reality or truth. Um, all right, so I hope this makes sense, you guys. I hope this resonates. I want to remind you that um, this month is our last month at our cheap rate in the reset journey from resistance to freedom. So actually, if uh, what we've been discussing today makes sense, if you have, if you have, ha if you have, have, <laughs> I can't say it. If you have been experiencing a lot of nerves and it's uncomfortable and you've tried a lot of things, but you're still feeling nervous and it's taking over your system and your capacity, your talent, your creativity, and pretty much everything in the moment, your presence, no matter what level you're at, um, get in touch with us. We'll send you a free training. Or if you know what we're doing already um, and you've been hesitating, you can still get in cheap inside of the Reset Journey from Resistance to Freedom until the 31st of December. January 1st, the rate drastically increases. So now is the time we're letting you know, um, just because we want the ones who have been on the fence to be able to join at the actual rate. All right, you guys, thank you for watching. It was nice to connect with you. In the meantime, I wish you happy holidays and um, enjoy your families and your celebrations. All right, ciao.